So, um, do you have recommendations for other countries that would like well, to follow? Well, I understand that it's not that easy to follow Costa Rica's decision because in many countries uh, the oil um, the oil production has been happening for many many years and it doesn't make any sense to them to stop. I, I think that they need to really understand that uh, having an oil industry and, and, and you know we will get into oil peak production very soon, countries need to become thinking on what they are going to do when they get into peak production and, and you know in many countries the, the, the economic dependency on, on the income on oils has had a big cost in, their own, in the economy in terms of being resilient to the fluctuations of the prices of oil, but also they haven't been able to promote uh, other productive sectors, uh, uh, and you name it, ecotourism, agriculture, I mean, they, they, they pay, the economy of those nations, they, they need, my point is, they need to plan on how they're going to do that transition. They need to plan on how they're going to move uh, their economy, and particularly their transportation, mobile sources. And I think that um, there, there should be some golden rules. Uh, one is, you know, to be, to be very clear and science-based on their climate um, mitigation com compromises. Uh, that's one. The second is that um, golden rules, uh, we shouldn't promote oil and gas in protected areas. As simple as that. I still, uh, we shouldn't promote oil and gas in indigenous uh, territories. Um, and there's a lot of uh, cases uh, in Africa, in, in uh, South America. We shouldn't promote um, oil and gas even in forested areas.